Welcome to our podcast. Welcome to Mike's on the tail end of COVID podcast. Mike's on the what? Tail end of COVID. <laughs> I don't know why I thought you said something else, but you didn't. Tail, what did you think I said? I thought you said something like Mike has a tight little end about COVID. <laughs> <laughs> tight end COVID. Um... Listen, you've been taking really good care of me, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be sorry. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. You can tell me not to be all you want, but I am. Thank you for a very good guy. You're a good guy. <sighs> uh, yeah. Don't feel like myself. That'll come again at some point. I hope so. But um, yeah. Sure. Fine. Oh, I miss our tin. Tin. There you go. Our things. It doesn't. It doesn't make the same. <laughs> that doesn't. Noise. That's not a satisfying it's sound. So not satisfying. Try it again. It's not. It's <laughs> caca. Okay. I'm sorry. Thank you for uh, for doing this show with me, Zoe. You're welcome, Mike. Thank you for nursing me back to health. You're welcome. I'm not there yet. I'm a good wife. You what are can a I good say? Wife. You're mm-hmm. a good wife, even when I'm a healthy guy. Yeah. And I thank God for you every day. Yeah, that's right. Give it a tap. You're going to want to wash your hands, feed the uh, chickens. Yes. Um, Zoe. Yes. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. And. And loving me. And so many. And Casey Mo. And Casey Mo. <laughs> so many and things have all. happened. So many things have happened over the past couple of weeks. We got to celebrate the independence of our country, kind of. We also got to uh, celebrate the... Um, Coming of our Lord <laughs> and Savior. Yes. Uh, but the rights of women's ovaries are and their private parts is being taken away. So let's celebrate that, too. And we got to celebrate it. Let's celebrate it, you guys. Isn't that fun? Yeah, it's so much fun. I love being a woman. I love being a woman as well. Thank you for being a <laughs> lovely lady. Thank you. Yeah, Do you welcome. think I could pull off being a woman? Yes. Because <laughs> I would answer that different. <laughs> yes, I do. I do have to say something about that, though. So uh, one of my clients, she came in. She's pregnant. I don't know if I said this already on the podcast. I don't think so. But she came in. She, she's pregnant. You know, like I was like, oh, my God congratulations she goes yeah she's like i'm super thrilled not so thrilled that i'm bringing in another white man into this world yeah that's the goddamn war and that's that's her talking about her own kid yeah (laughs) i kind of felt bad for her did you tell her that it's her fault how that kid turns out (laughs) yeah and that's what i said to her too i was like yeah but you're not raising like a a shithead white male you is know there, does she have a partner yeah her. what kind it's a male what kind what color <laughs> he is a white yuck first yeah. of all yuck no I nothing see, worse than a white male raising another one. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> no nah, man wow, fucking be lava. good parents and maybe you, yeah, you won't that's it raise a piece of shit yeah you're not um, think, inherently wrong because you were born a white guy. Yeah, no, I as think luck would have it. I think too. Uh, sometimes we I we get that because Jamie's half black, mm-hmm. so um, clients feel like oh they, they put yeah, on the yeah, ritz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see that. Yeah. So they're not like this, this client is, specifically. This is what Jamie but, wants yeah. Meanwhile, Jamie is like she doesn't. Give what a would fuck. you like me to do with your hair? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jamie's got her yeah. own shit going on. Yeah. She doesn't need like a white woman. Um, doing a Broadway singing dance, yeah. which is, um, and I don't mind if I do. Let me step up on my soapbox real fast. A white woman. <laughs> 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 hey, just be yourself. You'll be all right. Hey. Um, anyway. Stop changing your voice. You're making everybody nervous. Yes. <laughs> Have you heard of You Might Be Wondering Why You Got Here? I have. It's a Dungeons and Dragons podcast. What else? They're a sponsor of the show, oh. and I'd love to hear you talk about it. Oh, them. my God. Are From you hear, ready? They have award-winning sound design. Are How'd you ready for, for it? Are you, are you dead? 
what happened to no, this one? No, press it again. Completely. And we're back. And please wait. Ever. And Kadabra. go ahead. Nope. That's not oh, fuck. Okay. It and sure yes. yes. That's working. Are you ready for heart-stopping adventure, award-winning sound design, and some kick-ass music? Yes. Well, that, 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 <laughs> that. Dude, I like your acknowledgement of yes. me saying yes. 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 <laughs> well, <laughs> then check out. You might be wondering how you got here, how we got here. <laughs> sound design, Dungeon and Dragons podcast, set in modern day, oh, you guys. Okay. Join us each week and try it uh, as we try not to get sued for using characters such as Michael Mouse, Jeffrey Bezos, Bezos. You need directional featuring Harry Styles and Melon Rusk. Harry Styles, I can't be it. Harry Smiles, I Harry said. Smiles. Smiles. I said it. Rate the show on iTunes or share the uh, rate. Um, rate the show on five stars on iTunes or there's an extra on in there. Yes, I know it is. It's That's really not your fault. I'm rate not coming the show down on you five stars <laughs> on iTunes or share the show using hashtag YMBW to get a character named after you on the show. That's fun. The current campaign is SWAT Society of Weird and Terrifying. It's on its second season, so if you want to keep up with the action, just listen to Season 2, Episode 0, Context, for all information you'll need to hop right in. You guys, hopping in, like little rabbits. Mm -hmm. So check us out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, Patreon, or wherever you get your podcasts. And instead of hashtag fuck you, Tyler, let us, let's have a hashtag thank you, uh, Roby. For your newest addition to the team. For you being our newest. You guys, I'm forever fuck these up. And it's one of my favorite things to do. So Here's my... Let me ask you a question. <laughs> and you might hate this question. And if do you I have it, to answer if the you question? Hate it, that's what I'm saying. If you hate it too much, you don't have to <laughs> answer it at all. Or even acknowledge that I asked it. Okay. Why don't you just read the words that are there? Um... <laughs> So you guys, as you know, Mike has been sick all week. Yes. And about to die. <laughs> yes. And it's just a matter of what's going to take me out at this point. It's, it's going to be me, I think. Um, That's fine. Um, listen, I'm some... not vaccinated for Zoya. Oh my God, I hate it. Um... <laughs> Heads up. Thank you for... Nursing me almost completely back to health. You're welcome. I am very thankful for everything that you've done, not only throughout our entire relationship, but this week. I'm sorry for being irritable. I'm sorry for bringing <laughs> dirt sickness into this house. That is. And we tried so hard to keep it out for such a long time, but not unlike our friends in the Dungeons and Dragons universe. Even though there was a moat made by vaccine. Even though there is a drawbridge made from washing hands, <laughs> the dragon that is COVID breathed hot fire up into my ass. <laughs> and into now I'm doing ass? this. Is that how you got it? Into my ass. In his ass. But listen to me. I'm on the mend and I'm getting better. And I'm very thankful to have a partner like you in life to help drag me out of the abyss. <laughs> and into light. <laughs> I'm happy to bring you out of this abyss. I fucking hate it. I hate I hate not feeling like myself. You well, know you look like yourself, am I right? <laughs> um dude, <laughs> I think during my adolescence. Uh-huh. I tried so hard to figure out who I was uh -huh. and get comfortable with who I was. And then that happened uh -huh. as an adult. And I really like myself as an adult for the most part. And then you feel sick and it kind of takes you out of who you are. And I'm right back to fucking hate Adolescence. Yes. Adolescence. Yeah. I like to subtract a lessons. Yes. Thank you so much. You guys. Also, Mike has some fun shows coming up. You're absolutely right. This weekend, when I'm no longer sick, I'll be in Salem, Oregon. Oregon. Not to be confused with Salem, Massachusetts, where all the bitches are. 
We're them witches. Witches. Yes. What did I say? Bitches. Easy with the language. I can't wait to be there. The first show is sold out. We added a second show. And I guarantee you about three people are going to show up. Are you going to do a show for three people? I will absolutely do a show and I'll work my fucking ass off because I'll be so happy to be out of Los Angeles and doing a show yeah. and feeling good that you bet even if there's one person there working the door with their back turned yeah. towards me watching a TV in the back of the room, I will do the fuck out of that show. Like I said, first show sold out. If you'd like to get tickets to the second show at the Infinity Room, there are tickets on MikeFalzone.com. Uh-huh. Squarespace website. Squarespace. And uh, and then the next surrounded show will be in Montreal for the world famous Just for Laughs Festival. And uh, I'm so excited to be there, which is why I need to have discipline and fucking just chill the fuck out until that happens so mm-hmm. I can be totally help, help, helpfully. Helpfully healthy. Healthy for all that to happen. Yes. Um working towards it every day yes you, you, keep going a bit better today than i did yesterday i'm so glad that you are feeling better than you did today you do what See? i'm so <laughs> glad <laughs> that you <laughs> feel easy. better Not today that easy to speak, is than, <laughs> did I, do i have covid brain right now um <laughs> Actually, no, I have been testing negative. I have been testing every single day. I did call out of work Thursday or Friday and Saturday. Um, and I and I was sad to have missed my nephew's basketball games that he had in Long Beach this weekend. What the fuck? Yeah. No one told me about this shit. Yeah. So it, it's fine. You know, it's, it is it is what it is. Um, well, when I talked to them yesterday was Sunday. Um, yes. Uh, they lost their first game really badly. I don't well, know listen, how the second game went, but... If this is the same person yes. I'm thinking of... Yeah, Ryan. We got our asses handed to us yes. at Venice Beach. Yes, we did. Where we learned out in the <laughs> wild to lose gracefully. Yeah, no. Me, He's Ryan, not graceful, but that. yeah. I know because he's a competitive boy. Ryan and Tyler, yes. And it's hard to... <laughs> Ryan and Ryan's dad. <laughs> Ryan and Ryan's dad, Tyler. Yeah. Are, it's it's tough to fucking lose gracefully when you're a hardcore competitive uh-huh. MF. Yes, yeah. But we did. We had yeah. to. When yeah. we went to Venice Beach yeah. and we got our asses kicked yeah. by collegiate athletes. Yes. Um, but, dude, that's what happens when you're so good that you're at a high level of mm-hmm. competition. Yeah. You're going to get got from time yeah. to time. Well, they actually, <laughs> I guess he put out, uh, he made a reel of uh, his shots and stuff. Tight. And pretty good, yeah. Pretty good. I mean, he's a, what, a sophomore in high school? Mm-hmm. Like, in. When I was a sophomore in high school, it. I didn't make enough shots to facilitate the making of a reel. Yeah. No, he's great. I didn't and have enough And that's why in they called repertoire. you Struggles. Struggles, yes. yes. Thank you for bringing that up. Yeah. Zoe? Mike? I found a goddamn article that I thought okay. that you might be interested let's, in. Let's hear it. It's a fucking BuzzFeed article. Uh huh. You ever. Do you remember? Yeah. You ever take that quiz? Which BuzzFeed article are you? No. Okay, so this is called "I Disliked It as a Child and I Still Don't Trust It," and these Grape are about flavor anything. Yeah. Yes. That's what this is about. Fuck that. The answer is no. I still don't like it. Why are you coming out of the gate so I'm hot? Because I'm pissed. Were now. you COVID I'm... breathing dragon? No, that's a bad one. <laughs> that's bad. Too soon. Okay, because no, I don't breathe COVID. It's a moat built by Pfizer. Um, so this is about, uh, when you, you didn't like foods as a kid yes, and how you feel about them as an adult. Do you want to hear, uh, what some other people's answers were? Sure. First thing right off the bat. First things first. I papa freaks all the honeys, dummies, playboy bunnies. Those want monies. Nope. Too fast. No, I can't. Give me Keep going. No. Rhubarb. I don't think I've ever truly known what rhubarb is. Oh, it's tasty. What is it? It's like a, a, a fruit vegetable. It's like a sweet root. Dude, I love instead it's, of just saying yeah. I'm not sure what it is, you it's say it's like, a fruit vegetable and then you look it it's up. It's a vegetable. It's okay. sweet if you cook it down. So. What if you cook it up? 
and yeah, rhubarb is a f it, uh, is the freshly edible stalks. What? Yeah, it looks like a stalk, like a yeah. chopped up stalk. Yeah. So uh, you do what with it? You chop it up, and then you usually put it like here. They have it in like a strawberry pie. Yeah, rhubarb pie. Yeah. Yeah. There was something that had rhubarb in it, dude. There was a yogurt that we used to get mm -hmm. that used to be like strawberry rhubarb, mm -hmm. and I. Tasty. Yeah, I thought it was very good. Yeah. So the first one says rhubarb. I've come around uh, to like a lot of ingredients. I once disliked this job, but I still don't trust rhubarb. That stuff doesn't belong in desserts. I don't know if I've ever seen a rhubarb by itself. <clears throat> Do you have any feeling on that? Oh, you I said like, you liked it. Uh, yeah, I like it. Okay, tight. Number two, eggplant. Loved eggplant, too. This person said, I'm sorry, but this vegetable has a texture of a dirty sponge. Um, I don't think, because I'm Italian, I don't think I have that. Mm -mm. Um, I don't know if you've ever had an eggplant the parmesan. But it's so nice. But it's a kiss, kiss, a fingertips, and open <laughs> to the world. It is kiss, kiss. Finger. Kiss kiss fingertips. Um, I don't know if I could sit there and eat an eggplant like an apple. No, or... you can't. That's poisonous for you. It has to be cold <clears throat> and cooked. Interesting. Uh huh. Um, and I wouldn't, and I haven't, and I yeah. don't plan on it. Yep. Uh, but eggplant parm. Mm. Big Bang fan. Bang. Bang a ring, Peter. Bang a ring, Rufio. Bang a ring. Uh, and you like it as well. Uh huh. Cottage cheese. Love it. I'm guilty of not trusting it as a child and not even trying it again as an adult. <laughs> Love it. Liked it as a kid, liked it now. I ate a lot of weird shit as a kid. Like I'm... dirt. I was helping. Yes. Keep going. Did you, I, whenever, okay, so I was in college mm -hmm. and I had a bunch of friends that were trying to fucking jack off. <laughs> Right? Yeah. And they would sit there and they would eat cottage cheese with a spoon and pretend that that was... Well, you gotta dress it up. I mean, cottage cheese on its own is fine. It's fine. It's bland. It doesn't really taste like anything. What are you supposed so, to put in it? You can put honey in it. You can put fruit in it. You could put either of those things in anything, though. Y yeah, but why not in some cottage cheese? Why not? Why not? That's 100% yes. right. This person says it looks and tastes, mm. looks and tastes, and as if somebody <laughs> chewed up cheese and spit it out, and I'm supposed to eat that. Looks like this person doesn't have a very expanded palate. You're right. Yes. Four blue cheese. I enjoy a little bit of blue cheese. I'm not. It's not my first go-to. Mm -hmm. It's not my favorite. Dude, Hank Green, who uh -huh. also has COVID at the moment. Oh no! He lost his. Um, what are the two things you lose? Sense Your sense of, of taste and, and smell. eyesight. Smell. That's the one. <laughs> um, he said that he had never liked blue cheese, uh -huh. and a lot of it is because of the smell. Uh huh. Right. Yes. Yeah. So. He tried a bunch of things. He tried black licorice, uh -huh. which is also disgusting. He was eating it by the handful because, like, he can't, can't smell taste it. it. Yeah. And when you lost, when you lose your sense of taste, you still like can tell if something's sweet. Uh -huh. So he said he was eating it a, a lot, uh -huh. and then eventually it came back. The bitterness came back, and mm -hmm. he was out. Yeah. But he also ate this big block hunk of blue, blue cheese. cheese, and he was like, "I might eat this like." from now on and blah 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 it's you can't have too much you're not supposed to have no, too, too much. much it's a that's a too much uh but it's like the picture here is crumbled on a burger mm -hmm. and that's very nice so or into a salad yeah i haven't had blue cheese since the last time i had it inside of a burger mm -hmm. and it was uh-oh no, no no too much yes uh -oh. Yeah, it, it was very like, easy. Dude, the line between ooh, just enough and too much is very thin. Yeah, it's very thin. Walking a razor's very. edge. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Okay, first of all, I do apologize for not styling my hair the last couple of episodes. You do kind of have a bouffant. Yeah, I don't care. Um, I think you look beautiful. I think you're beautiful. You At least like I slapped a, on some mascara. 
You look like a lion. You're a lion of my heart. I'd be lying if I said... Okay, so number five yes. is mushrooms. Zoe, you like mushrooms. Uh-huh. Yeah. Join us next week. Yes. I. What do you want me to say? Yes. No, I just thought you were I enjoy, I enjoy them. I like, enjoy them in a marsala. I enjoy them on a salad. Yes. Marsalad. 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 This shell with shoes on. Um, dude, I also kind of don't like mushrooms unless they're deep inside something else. And I told this story before, and I'm sorry, but there was this one time I was going to a Dave Matthews Band concert. Okay. At the Meadows Music Theater in yes. Hartford, Connecticut. Okay. And one of my wider friends brought a little hibachi grill. I hate them. Not a hibachi grill. What am I thinking of? Little grill. Little yes. portable grill. Okay. Hibachi is the, like the. the yes. Yes. Not, that's not what I'm that's thinking That's not what it little is. Little grill. Okay. A tiny foreman. I just used one too many descriptive words. Yeah. Tiny grill and was cooking balsamic vinegar mushrooms. And that was the first time I ate a mushroom by itself and, and loved it. Yeah. Were they like big caps? Big. Yeah. Big, big. Like a... Like a, like a burger. Burger pack. Yeah. And it was dope as fuck. Yeah. And that changed uh, my perception of, of mushrooms. But I still can't even do mushrooms like... On pizza, what? it doesn't. Mushrooms to me, in a setting like that, taste like boogers. No, I don't like food that tastes like burger boogers. Burgers. Maybe I'm the outlier on that, but me personally, Mike Falzone. Personally, I don't like food that tastes like boogers. Yeah, um, I, that's fair. Um, that's fair. Mushrooms are a byproduct of life. It's a fungus. So you get moisture and a dark area, and then mushrooms grow. Yeah. Boogers grow in a dark, moist area. Therefore, mushrooms are nature's boogers. I don't like food that tastes like boogers. Mushrooms can go. But you enjoy picking your boogers. Yeah, but I don't eat them, do I? I don't grill them up nice at a Dave Matthews Band concert. But you pick them, so maybe you should give them... I'll, I a choose chance. boogers. Yeah. Um, six is interesting. Uh-huh. Canned tuna fish. I like canned tuna. Yep. Me too, man. There was a time in my bumblebee. Uh huh. Yes. In my poorer life, uh huh, where I ate tuna out of a can, mm-hmm. squeezed a half of a lemon into a can of open tuna, mm-hmm. and ate that to hold myself over, so I would have money to take bitches out on dates or uh to get a new pair of cargo shorts and flip-flops and flip-flops because sometimes they are sold together yes new beach towel (laughs) and uh they i did that a lot yes i know Uh, a little salt and pepper a little uh uh, use a little zesty squeeze yes and I liked it a lot until oh, no. I got a bone. Uh-oh. And then I was Out. petrified for the rest of my life. Yeah. That's fair. Uh, that's very fair. Mm-hmm. That's happened to me before. But tuna in a can, big fan of tuna in a can, yeah. especially if you're poor as shit. Yep. It's good. It holds you over. Good for you. Yeah, it's very tasty. There's a ton of protein in that. Yeah. I should get some. I'm Rich actually, people have a thing about eating shit out of cans. Yeah, man. Caviar, all the kinds of stuff. Although... Yeah. I've never, I've, had never had, I've never had caviar either. Look at us trying to pretend like we're something that we're not. Number mm. seven, olives. I love <clears throat> olives. I love Katamala olives too. Katamala. The fucking meaty and juicy and delicious. Yeah. I love olives. Okay. I don't, which I makes do. me a bad Greek and Italian. Yeah. We talked about this before. Apparently when I was little, I used to love olives when you eat everything when you're little. Uh-huh. And... Uh, I never grew back. I just decided that I didn't like them one day. And you just said it no. It was out. Yeah. Yeah. You're just like, I'm out of here. I wonder what the deal is with that. I wonder what it is. What I mean, I, do? I should put it in some vodka for you and really show you how to eat them. Put an olive in vodka and show me how to eat them? Mm-hmm. That's very Why would good. that help? And a dirty martini? Mm-hmm. Life. You know, I haven't had martinis 
uh, or dirty martini for that matter, since I got drunk on that uh, video call with my best friend and her husband. Yeah. Uh, because that's what we do. And I don't think either of us have had a dirty martini since that night. That's very interesting. <laughs> yes, it was. Um, yeah, it was a lot. Um, you know, oh, I don't have my phone. What are I was going to call for? mixologist Nick Hamilton to tell me the difference between a martini and a dirty martini. Do you have Nick Hamilton's number? You know, it's funny. I do. And if I don't have it in my phone, I have it in my memory, in my work uh, app. Do you? I do. Okay, call him up. Somebody is screaming the answer into their speakers yeah, right I know. now. Because it's probably very simple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, Nicholas, this is Zoya Falzone from uh, Hello, Zoya Falzone. Welcome to our podcast. Oh, are we on this? Yes, we are. That's phenomenal. It sounds like your accent got thicker, my dude. I'm just kind of talking. Okay. All right. Well, uh, that's your that's your friend Mike. Yeah, yeah, I hear him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Mike wants to know uh, the difference between a martini and a dirty martini. A uh, martini, uh, well, dirty martini has olive like brine in it, Michael. Olive brine. Yes, like the juice from a jar of olives. The, the juice. Okay. Like the, the, the liquid. The in the, I, I, kind of, I don't think I could be more clear. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm not. Listen. I'm not picking a fight. Give it to him. I'm not saying that you. Do, I'm not even that confused. <laughs> to be completely honest, <laughs> I kind of get it. What else is in a martini? <laughs> Oh, you well, can it do can be it, gin. Things. You okay. Can do it. You can have a you can have a gin martini, and that's okay. that's my preferred way. Oh, or you no. can do a um, vodka martini. That's my preferred uh, way. If, if you have a, uh, that's wrong. Uh, oh. If you have a, <laughs> a dirty martini, then it has olive brine in whatever you do, vodka or gin or whatever. But then it's also dry vermouth. It's what was the second part? Dry vermouth. Dry vermouth. Okay, why oh, is wow. everyone so testy today? Is my question. <laughs> I'm sick for Christ's sake. Why don't you be nice? (laughs) You know, dude, Nick is on a podcast. Either he already did it. He is right now. No, no, no. I mean another one. Yes, okay. That they interviewed me for. They called me up and they were like, give us the deal on Nick. And I was so nice and so fucking complimentary the whole time. And he Uh is on our show Uh with this attitude all of a sudden. The attitude that I love. So... (laughs) You know what Nicholas, the difference is between a dry hand? Nicholas and a dirty Nicholas? What's that? Yeah. You, they both can go fuck themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I so wanted to hang up on I him. Know, so, <laughs> you know that. <laughs> Thank you for your expertise, Nicholas. I love you very much. Nick, I'll take drinks you whenever much. you're mixing them yeah, here. We, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll do hugging soon. All right. You're here for a while, right? Yeah, for, until uh, this time next week. I can't wait. Okay, all right. All bye-bye. Right. Miss you. Bye. Oh God in heaven! I mean, okay. I could have explained that to you, but I just wanted to anyone hear could his have. Voice. But it's nice to have a yes, guest. Yes, it is. Liver is the next one. Oh man! Okay, so I used to eat it all the time. Mm-hmm. Liver and onions, and there was this one deli that I would get it from, and it was the only place that I would do it. And I have no desire to have it anywhere else or ever again, for so, that matter. Did you get? What, did you have a bad experience? Ah, I didn't have a great experience, and let's just say, it was like a dumb and dumber moment. You threw up, but out of your butt. Yeah. <laughs> at work. At it's work? devastating. Yes. At work. Yeah. At- when you almost shat yourself. At, no, I was like, it was like my first, my first real hairdressing job. So, it was like two thousand one, two thousand two. Fuck, dude. I was in sixth grade. <laughs> That's not true, but it is funny to see your face when I see you. <laughs> it's not true. 2002, I was graduating from high school. 2001, I was in high school. A little yeah, rundown. It could have been history. like 19. It could have been like really like, it could have been anywhere from 1998 to like 2001, 2002. Okay. And yeah, that's where. So I guess what weirds me out Mm -hmm. is that the liver is like what filters out stuff you need and stuff you don't need Mm -hmm. and like waste out of your body. Mm -hmm. 
So when you eat liver, who's, what kind of liver do you eat from what animal? I'm not sure. I was going to say cow, but I am not sure. That's a really good I'm question. I'm sure that is part of it. Yeah. And I'm sure you could eat all kinds of livers. Yeah. But I guess what I'm saying. I know there's saying, like duck too, maybe. I don't know. You could also eat a duck if you want. Sure. Um, but uh, I never wanted to eat like the waste thing yeah. out of a. Yeah. Animal. I have no, I, I have no desire to ever have that anymore. Is it? Focus? Does it look dark to you over there on bit. that camera? Yeah. Okay. How do I fix that? This? Well, you could turn that thing if you'd like. Yeah, that's good. One down. Oh, that's... No, no, no. Put it back to where it was. And one. And maybe one more. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I think this screen just fell asleep. Yep. Um, great. Thank you to the team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A.K.A. Zoya's uh, left hand. Yes. So this this here says people have always told me the reason I don't like liver is because I haven't tried one that is made correctly. What do you think was wrong with the one that gave you uh, butt throw up? No, I think it was just an upset stomach uh, once, and I never went back for it. I that was always really good. I mean, I used to have it at least once a week because at the least deli, once a week. Yeah, the deli was right there. That's where I would go get my lunch for the week. On like a sandwich, I would go. Yeah, or, so, or on with uh, crackers. Liver and onions. I feel like that is not a normal, let's bring this to work snack. Well, you also have to remember that like I'm eating on the fly, so I need something quick and easy to eat, you know? So it was like we had this Italian deli. There was an Italian restaurant, which I always used to get the cavadel with broccoli and garlic and oil. It was mm. also my favorite. But then I, And then one day my boss at the time uh, told me that I was getting too fat. Mm. And that I should probably stop eating that. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. And then what happened? And then I... Once you took the knife out of that guy's face, what happened? It, she was she, very me. upset uh-huh. with the answer <laughs> that I gave her. What did you say, dude? What did you say? 18, 19-year-old Zoya was sass. Yeah. And I said, oh, no. I wouldn't want to turn out like you. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, yeah. Sorry. So... Bang. Um, Bang. You got jokes? I got jokes, too. You don't step to her is the only thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Anyway, liver's disgusting. Yeah. Um, nine, endives. I don't know. Other than, you know what introduces you, you to endives? Introduces me. Why am I speaking for anybody else? You know what introduced me to endives was doing, like, Blue Apron mm-hmm. and uh, HelloFresh. Mm-hmm. Because they give you a little bag of things that you thought you'd never need. And all of a sudden you're cooking endives. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're normally to make like cups of stuff. I like endives. They're yeah. Good. They're uh, raw used in salad yeah. or baked and loaded with cheese. Yeah. Or you can use them raw and do like tuna cups. Tuna cups. Like a holder for tuna. Yeah. And you're a fan or no? I'm a fan. Okay. Next one. Ten. I like my beans. Lima beans. Lima beans. I like beans. I like all kinds of beans. Yeah, who has a problem with lima beans? Fucking got a life. Yeah. 11. Celery. Don't hate it. I'll eat it. Dude, celery. I know that this Ants is on running a log. out. Ants on a log. One of my favorite mm-hmm. healthy ish snacks yep. of all time. Yeah. And I always was, that was my go to, like, um, Excuse me. People being like, and and also on to you. Um, that like when my mom would be like, you don't eat vegetables. You need to eat vegetables. I'd be like, well, I ate fucking ants on a log last month. So check yourself. Yeah. Um, don't ever talk to her like that ever. It was a long time ago. I haven't back talked my mom in. No, because she'd smack the shit out of you. She would if she yeah. has. Yes. <laughs> Fast hands. Yes. Short legs. Yeah. And <laughs> um, But I still love it, and I would still do that. Yeah. Also, in a hot buffalo wing situation, mm-hmm. to have a stalk of celery there is nice. Celery and carrots. Or like a, a pasta salad. Salad. Like a uh, pasta for you. A pasta salad. Anyway, big fan. I'm a big fan. Um, just having it raw by itself is like eating water, um, which not great. It's like eating water with str- strings in it. It's like somebody <laughs> ruined a sweater inside a pool 
Okay. And you are That's eating fair. it. Uh, 12, beets. I like beets. <laughs> I like, I've liked and will eat a lot of these foods. I have no problem with any of them. My brother-in-law, Tim Hahn. Yeah. (laughs) Disgusting. I wrote a tweet yesterday that said, beets are the only vegetable that you will call the hospital if you forgot that you had them. It's their six-year wedding anniversary today. Congratulations to Tim and Teresa yes. and their son, TNT. for your uh, six years. Six years of marriage. Of marriage. Congratulations. We love you very much. Uh, I hate beets, and I will lump along with this horseradish. Oh my god, I love me some horseradish. Word. Oh yes. Explain. Oh, there's, uh, it's like, uh, it's like wasabi and it gets you like that. (sighs) Yeah. I love it. I love wasabi. I hate horseradish. I don't know. It's very tasty. There's something. Horseradish feels like it's fighting you back. Like you've attacked it by eating it. It's like kicking kicking you in the face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like a horse. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> number 13, black licorice. Love Fuck it. it. I've eaten it. I like it. I love good and plenties. We're like my jam. I still will love me some. Is good that what and it is? What is the difference between a good and plenty? Call up Nicholas. Good. No, don't calling, uh, good and plenty mm-hmm. and, uh, Mike and Ike's good and plenty is black it, licorice coated in like, uh, and like pink and white stuff. Uh huh. And then uh, Mike and Ike is just like a gooey. They're different. Like a jujube. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, number 14, I don't really understand, is oatmeal. Do people hate oatmeal? That's weird if they do. Dude, oatmeal is like Twitter and Facebook. Like if you hate it, it's your fault. Yeah. That's no one else. That's because you could do whatever mm-hmm. with it. Yes. If you're who's you enforcing have it themselves. Cold, you can yeah. have it. You can have it uh, warm. You can have it in a smoothie. You can have it in all kinds of things. You could literally sprinkle anything else that you, can you have like. Have it in a cookie. You could have it in your in your mouth. Mm-hmm. You could have it. You can have it savory. You can have it sweet. You can have it any way you like. Yeah, like this thing here says the oatmeal is still mushy, bland, and gross. That's your fault. Yeah. If you get if you make oatmeal mm-hmm. and that is it. Yeah. I've made oatmeal, now it's time to eat. Yeah. You're not done. No. If you do that with almost any food, yeah. As a meal, yes. you're gonna have a bad time. Yeah. Um learn how to sprinkle stuff in other Just stuff. Learn. Why don't you do yourself a fucking favor and, and learn. learn? Okay. My mom's calling. Oh, hi. My phone's in the other room. Yes, it is. I'm a bad son. Do you avocado is number fifteen. Back? I love me avocado. I know you hate avocado, but I do. I tried, man. I'm sorry. I hate it. Yeah. I think it's dirt trash. Yeah. I get it. Um, so many people that's the only one that people have been upset with me for. I don't understand why anybody has to be upset about it. I mean, I like for you to try it every once in a while just to see maybe if your palate has changed Mm -hmm. because that happens. Um, I was hoping that they were going to do more of like, you know, ketchup. I hated ketchup as a kid. I'll I'll deal with it now. Mm -hmm. I don't. It's not my go to condiment, but. Well, maybe we could go to the orthodontist and get a palate expander so that we could like more foods we didn't like as a child. This one says raw pepper. Raw pepper? Like peppers? Peppers? You know, I wasn't a huge fan of pepper if it wasn't like highly um, disguised by other stuff until I met you. And then you forced pepper on me for a long time and I like it. Peppers, yeah. 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 Yeah, I I like to cook with them. I like the texture that it gives certain foods. Um... You know, I think it's good and it's healthy for you. Yes. Tomatoes. 
Love tomatoes? You know, I have a love-hate relationship with tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, I think they need to be fresh for me to like them. Oh, dude, there's nothing like tomatoes from the garden. Yeah. And I was really sad that my mom and my grandmother didn't do a garden this year, but she broke her wrist trying to fix it. The garden, so I'm not gonna. I'm not Look gonna at the sacrifice. Me. I know she's so cute. And all you can think of is how you didn't get. I know you're right. That's selfish. Yeah. Um, eighteen water chestnuts. The only time I have ever had these is is in like uh, Chinese food. Yeah, not a huge fan. I mean, I'll eat them, but me. Here's when I eat I like water chestnuts. Chestnuts. When I have like a. Uh, like chicken and broccoli or something and I have eaten all the chicken and I'm not looking and I think the water chestnut is another piece of chicken yes. and I'll usually take down four or five of those before I yeah. uh, realize that they're not um, number 19 is Brussels sprouts love me Brussels sprouts same yeah there's a place that we got married at that does like a crispy Brussels sprout as an appetizer big fan mm-hmm Brussels sprout is another thing that maybe you're just not preparing them right. Yeah. Um, you make really good Brussels sprouts. You used to do it all the time. Thank you. And uh, you haven't in a long time, but that's okay. I apologize. Oh, this one's very specific. The fatty part of any meat. Ugh. No. Not any meat. No. No. Again, boogers of the animal yeah. world. Yeah. That's like the next, if you don't eat cow boogers. Yeah. There's your body makes boogers. Yes, no. And you don't. Yeah. You shouldn't. Yeah. Gross. Caca. Number 21, raisins. I like raisins. I like raisins too a lot. If you don't like raisins, go fuck yourself. <laughs> 22, onions. I like onions. Dude, I used to fucking hate onions. Yeah. Onions as a, as a minced addition to a thing. Mm -hmm. Fine. Onions, a lot? Mm -hmm. Bad. Well. I said what I said. Pickles, 23. Mm -hmm. What? I like pickles. Same. Yeah. Unless. Unless. I like bitter. I like uh, vinegary pickles. You like kosher dill pickles. Yeah, I don't like, what are the ones that taste like water? When it's just a cucumber, but it's w wet. Yeah. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? A wet cuke. <laughs> Number 24, capers. I those love are those capers. little things that look like peas, but they taste like salt. Salt. Yes. Capers and stuff is tight as fuck. Mm -hmm. In like a lemon chicken yep. type deal. Yes. 25 marshmallows are the people who hate marshmallows. That's weird. I think my dad hates marshmallows. Really? Yeah. Oh, I think you're right. What's the deal? But he eats the the candied yams on Thanksgiving. I think he picks through. Mm. Interesting. Don't ruin my dad's good time. Interesting. Cantaloupe and honeydew melons. Mm. Yes. Good? Yeah. Same. Black beans. Who doesn't like black beans? Bam, ba, lamb. Not blam, ba, blam. What do you think? I like them. Same. Yeah. Mayonnaise. Mmm. There is a thing yeah. that all white people like mayonnaise, and that is incorrect. Yeah. Because I mean, mayonnaise is like boogers that you make. Yeah. Oh. Manufactured, that's factory boogers. Yeah. I don't know. Mayonnaise is not my favorite thing. No. That's lazy person sandwich glue. <laughs> uh, 29, asparagus. I love asparagus. Asparagus is another thing that you introduced me to that I like very much. I didn't like until... You helped me see the light. Mm -hmm. uh, so that'll do it for things that we hate. Is there anything on that list that you hated, or uh, not on the list, that you hated as a child that you like as an adult? I mean, oh. cheese. What? Yeah. All cheese? All cheese. Feta. You didn't it? like feta cheese as nope. a kid? I wouldn't look at it. It smelled funny. 
And well, it, you also feta cheese is different because it comes in a water bucket, <laughs> a murky water bucket. <laughs> so you really got to trust. Your first time having feta cheese, it's based on trust. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you just didn't trust anyone. Around. No, I wouldn't eat it. I wouldn't even go near it. Yeah. I don't. Th- I don't think Violet still eats it. I don't Word? think my sister. St- yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Um, when did you start liking that? I was like well into my teens. Hmm. Once I first started, my mom was like, or one of my, it was either my mom or one of my sisters was like, just try it. Your mom was like, you eat cigarettes, you won't have this feta <laughs> cheese. Um, dude, I fucking love, I love feta, feta cheese. I yeah. love all different kinds of cheese. Yeah. Uh, my thing would be spinach. Yeah. I hate, hated, like throw up hated spinach when I was a kid. Yeah. Even like I would watch Popeye and I'd be like, I want to, you know, that guy seems like he's Popeye. He's really enjoying it. I want to be like Popeye. Um, yeah, I wanted just my forearms to get big so I can move stuff around like bullies. And uh, <laughs> and I still don't like that steamed. You know when you when you steam uh-huh. spinach, yeah, and it's like it cooks down. It's gross. It's fucking gross. It's not. It's still gross. No, it's not. I'd rather have a spinach like salad. Yeah, you that's know, fair. like give me the leaves. That's fair. Just give me the leaves and pass, pass the, the dro. dro. Uh-huh. Speaking of passing the dro, do you guys know that Patreon.com is a virtual tipping and rewards website? Is that what we're doing now? Yeah. Is that time? For yeah, now? it's that time. It's time for that now. Okay. Uh, well, uh, Patreon.com is a virtual tipping and rewards website where you give us a little bit of your hard-earned cash and our $10 group gets a shout-out as follows. Uh, Matthew Carey. Carey. Uh, DLD. Olos Marius. Uh, Patrick Simpson. Ernesto. Raja. Elizeus. Uh, Joe Turzan. Louis and Odette. Lauren Chauncey. Paul Gilliam, Jacob D, uh, Jacob Mock, sorry, I don't know where that came from. Steve Dirko, Chris McCarthy, Trevor the Werefishy, Joe Penn, Happy Birthday Starlight, JJ McToots, Rachel Last Name, Mike Genie, Alan Garcia, Connie Tryon, Isabella Sparkles, and Taro Baez, Chris Fernandez, Johnny Rosito, and Handcrafted Neckwear, CCPB and J, Adman, Chili Filson. Emily Paget, Giant Time Hanks, uh, Lizzie Love, Gavin Welsh, Crossed Up, Someone Tell Aaron, Emily Buck, Jackie Hammond, uh, Paige Junzen, Guy with Long Hair, Chris Johnson, Happy Birthday Chris, uh, Anna Valles, uh, Benjamin Putz, Beth Bush, Snuggle Pig H, Ryan Ashbrook, Christina Camille, Josh Jensen. So, Fun quick story. Christina at, was hanging out with my sister and uh, and everyone the next day. She had sent a text message talking about like ass hats, and I was like, "Oh, I hope I'm not an ass hat." She was like, "What the hell are you talking about, ass hats?" Yeah, and she was like, "Had a blast with you, ass hats last night," and I was like, "Oh, you know, whatever." And she like didn't even realize or register that she put down like ass hats, and I was like, "Well, who's the ass hat now?" It's fun having old old friends like that. Uh, Michael Johnson, Kayla Johnston, Jules Run, Grant Levisior, uh, John Jensen, if I missed that. I think you said that one like four times. Okay, four times. Grant Levisior, Chad Clark, Joe Finney, uh, Heather Ashley, What is Cat, Katie Taylor, Sean Welsh, Shane Welsh, uh, Ivan Canoe, Joe Bands, Milky Bean, Joe Ban, Milky Beans, <laughs> Jess Enright, Lillian Carrillo, Magna Silva, uh, Barrington Lloyd Lovett, Ben Fuchs, uh, Theodorus Karen Bellis, Wumba Ma'am, Man, I said Ma'am, Janisha Tutton, uh, Danny Sinclair, uh, Jacob D. Bradford, Justine Bibistein, Just Josh, Sergeant Sparty, Ed Birch, Helen Ford, Superfloss, Tatiana Clay, Danielle D. Verona, Sean Stone, Valerie York, Deb, Jesse Stillwell, Katie Lee G., uh, Rob Devereux, Don Gone Chase and Waterfalls. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. DeLeon the Third, Luis Hernandez, uh, Alexander Legowski, Monique Quistorf, Jamie Garner, 
Troy R., Cody Osalas, Felicia Shamberry, and Matthew J. Palco. You guys, thank you so much for listening. We love you, and we hope you guys have a great week. Great job. Thank you for bearing with me today. You got it. Anytime. Okay. Bye, love guys. You. Goodbye.